convict cichlid also known as the zebra cichlid is one of the most underrated and least demanding cichlid. Their popularity in the fishkeeping world is due to their hardiness, low care needs and vibrant coloring. It also makes an outstanding beginner breeder fish due to their receptiveness to mate. In order to learn more about these fascinating fish and their care requirements, watch the video till the end. Welcome to Finding Fishes, let's get started. Convict cichlid is one of the most popular members of the cichlidae family. They can be found in streams and rivers across the entire length and breadth of Central America. These are incredibly hardy fish that can survive and thrive in a variety of different water conditions. The males can reach lengths of up to 13 to 15 centimeters. On the other hand, females are slightly smaller and can reach 8 to 10 centimeters in length. Their varying body sizes make it easy to identify the males and even females. They can live up to 8 to 10 years and require moderate level of care. Understanding the aggressive tendencies of the convict cichlid is essential if you want to provide them with good care. These fish fit right in with a lot of their cichlid relatives and are quite territorial and feisty. Their temperament is also why including hiding spots in their tank is so important. Plants, rocks, and driftwood can help give all the tank inhabitants some element of privacy. Convict can be less territorial when living in a large tank, with plenty of places to hide. However, this isn't something to be worried about as long as you put them in the right environment. Giving these fish enough space and pairing them with the right tank mates should keep them happy. As prolific breeders, they make fantastic parents, therefore their parenting ability is another common behavior you will see. They are attentive parents and you will see them nurturing their fry. Convict cichlid can be a messy fish and should generally be housed in a spacious tank. The minimum tank size should be 30 gallons. If you are planning to breed convict cichlids, then they should be kept in at least a 55 gallon. Convict cichlid do enjoy to hide under rocks and within branches and other roughage, so we would recommend adding as much as possible to the tank. They require water temperature of around 79 degrees Fahrenheit to 84 degrees Fahrenheit, with pH levels of 6.5 to 8. You can check out the card above for most suitable tank mates for convicts. The convict cichlid is omnivorous and will take a wide variety of suitable foods. A good basic diet could include a flake or pellet, worms, and beef heart. Frozen foods, including bloodworms, frozen shrimp, brine shrimp, are also a good addition to the diet, providing variety and nutrition for your fishes. If possible, you should offer your fish two to three small feeds per day, rather than one large meal. Give the fish just enough food that they can finish within a minute, don't overfeed. Convict cichlid are one of the easiest freshwater fishes to breed. They are referred to as cave spawners. Unlike other types of fish that are difficult to breed in captivity, these ones have very few requirements to actually breed. Once female lays her eggs, the male fertilizes them. This happens a number of times until the eggs are anywhere from 100 to 300. After the eggs are laid, the male keeps vigil. They are known to be very protective of both eggs and fry. After 48 to 72 hours, the eggs hatch. After about a week, the fry are able to swim freely. They can be fed baby brine shrimp and powdered flake. In about three weeks, the juveniles are mature and can feed on full flakes. During these times, the couples protect their young ones and are likely to be aggressive towards the other tankmates. It would be a good idea to keep other fish in another tank during this time. Convict cichlid are pretty robust fish, although they can suffer from common fish diseases, including bacterial infections, flukes, and worms. It can be a problem that does sometimes affect convict. Ick is a very common disease that is seen in most freshwater fish species. It is caused by a protozoan parasite. Fortunately, it is relatively easy to treat, as long as it's caught early. You can treat the condition with an over-the-counter antibacterial product and by increasing the tank temperature to 86 degrees Fahrenheit for a few days. You can take steps to keep your fish safe from disease by making sure that your fish tank is clean and carrying out regular water tests to make sure that the parameters are suitable for the fish. You must also set aside time to maintain the tank filters and carry out partial water changes each week. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.